Hello, welcome to Die Hard United. My name is Jude. I'm going to be talking about the latest news concerning Manchester United today. Don't forget to like and leave a comment in the comment section after this video. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you for coming on again. If you're not subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the subscribe button on the right hand corner and uh, keep up to date with everything Manchester United here on my channel. My name is Jude. Let's get to it. Manchester United preseason talk continues as the team landed in Australia immediately after the game against Liverpool in Thailand. And today, Eric Ten Hag and Marcus Rashford spoke to journalists ahead of Manchester United preseason friendly against Melbourne victory on Friday morning. So I'm here to bring you the quotes from this interview, uh, the press conference, and a um, really positive quotes and everything hag was no was still firm in his answers just like the last time so i'm going to bring you the quotes from everything hag and also what michael Rashford has to say about the training so far the preceding tour and his own form and uh, also the team moving forward everything hag was asked how serious the game was i don't know what um, sort of question is this we all know the mentality of this guy and he said we play to win every game but it's precision so we have to develop our team i think the most important thing from this statement is to note, note that he has the mentality of wanting to win every game but his main aim and purpose of course is precision is to develop the team create his team um his tactics get you know get, get these players into that mindset of uh, of of winners and um which is going to be very, very important for him. You know, get them happy, get them together, and also get the squad um, united. And um, it was also asked, um, you know, Melbourne victory is a different kind of opposition. And it was like, yeah, they are a different kind of opposition. We're happy. Um, Melbourne victory, they finished second in the league. They have good players, have a, a good coach. And, um, of course, it's not a team we play regularly. They're not, like... The other teams like Liverpool and Crystal Palace and um, Aston Villa, who we will play later, we are, that and we are familiar with, so we don't know what to expect from Melbourne victory, and it's going to be a good test for his team. And also um, on the availability of uh, Maguire, Maguire is going to be available for the game tomorrow. But he said um, Maguire will probably play only half a game, probably forty five minutes. And that's okay. And also on the player's response to his tactics and his training. And he said um, the players got to have to take the initiative and um, on and off the ball. He wants them to always press all day, all night long. Pressing is the intention all day. And also he wants his team to play proactive football. You know, um, we all know that's what he wants from his players because... Um, if you check it, if you check the training the drills, um, it's obvious he emphasizes on these facts, and th those are like his priorities, core the core of his playing style, a lot of pressing, being proactive, and um, hopefully this team can be able to get into that mindset. Of course, he said it. You to get to play the to play the way he wants them to play. You have to live a certain lifestyle, and I hope. No, not, not I hope. I, I, any player that doesn't fit that bill would be shipped out. So you have to upgrade yourself. And also, Michael Rashford was asked about um, his condition and um, how he feels about the preseason. And he said, um, we have to approach the game with the right mentality and mindset. We are looking forward to it and hopefully we give a good account of ourselves. That is very, very, very important um, statement for Marcus Rashford. And he also said uh, about his form and himself, he said that uh, he feels a lot better than usual. And when I go away with the Nationals and come back, okay, he said previously I go away and come back, um, I go away with Nationals and come back pathway to the preseason. Uh, but this time around, he's, he has been, he didn't go for the international break, he wasn't picked. So he has had all summer to relax and rest and begin preseason um, as if, um, among the first set of people. And it was like 
training has been tough. Um, a lot of our downtime is um, rest and recovery. We have improved and uh, a lot uh, fitter than last season. Very important. I like the way these players are always saying, oh, training is good. Um, everything is good. So when they start down tooling, we we'll would know that it's, these players are shit and it's their fault. And um, Ten Hag was asked about new signings and he, he said um, United squad, or his United team have potential. There are a lot of good players, young good players, experienced players. And um, what he wants to do is work with all of these players he have and to get the, play, the best out of them. Of course, I don't like this statement. It's a statement of, of saying um, don't expect new signings. So it doesn't go down well with me every time I hear um, such statements. But he said, um, according to, um, he was asked about uh, the competitions and the preseason and the size of his squad. And he was like, um, we need a full squad, lots of competitions, um, the World Cup um, in November, and uh, we need to keep everyone sharp. So, there's going to be, it's looking like it's going to be a lot of rotation in his team. It looks like there's going to be a lot of rotation and um, everybody would have um, enough game time to go around. And that is okay because, fine, we need to loan some of our young players out, but I'm hoping to see some of them being given a chance to shine um, under him this season. We know he works well with young players, so hopefully we can get um, things done. Hopefully, and he was asked about the Gonado situation, which he refused to give uh, a new update on. He was like, he already spoke about that before, and so we are going, we are going with what he said the last time that uh, Gonado is not for sale, and he is part of his plans. So that was basically the roundup of the press conference. So I'm going to talk about some transfer news. We all know that Alessandro Martinez is. Very, very, very close to joining Manchester United. The fee has been agreed. Personal terms have been agreed. So I guess it's announcement time. Or as much as we all know Manchester United, we don't know when that's going to be. But Alessandro Martinez is almost due done. And this is a, an appreciation to Edwin, Edwin van der Sar, who has been fantastic. Uh, he, According to reports, he also helped this deal to get done because of course we know no Ajax didn't want to sell and now we have to are paying over the odds for Lissandro Martinez we're paying 50 million euros Lissandro Martinez is not a 50 million euro center back but we are paying that because we are paying we are coming late for him and Ajax don't want to sell him but he wants to go so that deal is good as as done and also for Frankie de Jong the deal is, and I haven't talked about this, the Frank de Jong deal in, in a very long time because I'm so tired of it. Frank de Jong is too is is complicated. The fee has been agreed with Barcelona. The personal terms have should be should have been agreed with him because we have been talking to, to back up for a long time. So of course we we should have settled. He should know how much we are going to pay him and everything. So what's holding this deal is. The money a composition um, he's due if he leaves the club and Barcelona are not willing to pay a composition. So that's what he's holding the deal as around 17 million euro. So if Baka agrees to pay him that, then he's going to go. But now he's refusing to leave because they are not willing to pay him. So he's going to be like, I'm not going to leave Barcelona. If you want to sell me, then you have to pay me my compensation. So that's all where we are with the Frankie de Jong audio. So let's see how that goes. Um, his personal precision, um, personal travels for precision on Friday. So if he's part of the squad, then he's going to stay, very likely that he's going to stay. But if he's not part of that squad, then we all know that personal wants to sell him and he would be gone. So let's see how that all goes. Thank you. And that was all for now. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment in the comment section. Share this video to a fellow United diehard fans. And most importantly, please, we're trying to build a community. Please, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. This is for the Manchester United diehard fans. Don't forget to leave a comment. Give your thoughts on everything I've said. And engage. 
Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.